Hello again, my name is Ryan Walner, Tech Advocate here at Portworx. Today I'm going to walk you through backup and restore for Kubernetes. So here you can see there's two applications, a Cassandra cluster, three nodes, and a MySQL uh, database, a single node. Each of those nodes have a Portworx volume, and inside our Portworx application we can access the Pixie Cuddle CLI. See that we're already set up for targeting Google Cloud for our cloud storage to back up our volumes. So one way you can do this is by using Pixie Cuddle, the Portwork CLI, using the CloudStat backup command. And you reference the PVC, the name of the volume, and this will kick off your CloudSnap backup to your target endpoint. If you have multiple endpoints, you can specify cred ID with you know, AWS or, or something else. Here you can see the, the, the snapshot listed and our objects are now up in Google Cloud. So this is a backup of our MySQL database. Now, it's useful to also be able to back up these things in a Kubernetes native way. So one way to do this is by creating a Kubernetes object uh, based on a volume snapshot. The difference here is that your Portwork snapshot type is cloud, and this will target my one and only cloud target, which is Google at this point. You can specify different target endpoints for different backups. Simply create this file, and it'll create the MySQL snapshot, which is a cloud snapshot, so it's really a cloud backup. Here we can see the volume snapshot data named Katie's volume snapshot. And here we can see that another object was added to our Google storage bucket PX backups. Now that's backing up a single instance, but what about when you want to back up and target a group? So Cassandra runs as a multi-node cluster, a distributed database. So we have three volumes. We could take single backups of each one of those volumes, but then they're not consistent, right? So the, the snapshot or the backup isn't taken at exactly the same time. So what Portworx allows you to do is target a group volume snapshot, which Cassandra can be targeted as an app based on the label. We can use the match labels in the PVC selector. Again, it's a cloud-based type. So all we do is create this object and automatically Portworx and Kubernetes will work together to target each one of the PVCs and back up all of them at the same time. So you can see here, we've listed our snapshots and snapshot data. It's processing the backup. And now if we do it again, here we can see that all three Cassandra nodes are backed up with a specific UUID to show that it's part of a group. Here we can refresh our back backup bucket and see that the objects are added without any issue. Now you can also associate with these with schedules. Portworx allows you to do this via schedules and uh, that's a really useful tool if you don't wanna kick off these things over and over again. Now with backup comes restore. So what we're gonna do is take that second MySQL backup that we did and restore it. So here I have another file which is a persistent volume claim object. And all it's doing is targeting the snapshot, MySQL snapshot. So as we took this before, MySQL snapshot is a cloud-based snapshot up in Google Cloud. All we have to do is reference the name of that and create it. This PVC will then be created from a point in time backup. So Portworx will go pull that backup down from uh, Google Cloud Storage. And during this, it'll be in a pending state. And once it's available, you can use this PVC like any other PVC in your Kubernetes cluster. Again, it's pending. It takes some time to pull down the objects, of course. And if we list it, again, it should be done. There's not much in there. So here we go. And now you can see it's bound. Now we can go ahead and use this PVC like any other PVC, as I mentioned. So here we're just uh, creating another MySQL database, uh, but this time referencing the restored data. Now I'm creating a whole separate MySQL 
database here, but you can scale down your existing MySQL database, replace the PVC claim, and restore the existing uh, objects with the same names and, and such. But in this case, I'm, say, spinning up a point-in-time backup of my MySQL database so I can run some tests or, or do something along those lines. Great, that is Portworx Backup and Restore uh, with Google Cloud Storage. Uh, again, you can use this with uh, most object storage, S3 compliant, so AWS, S3, and others uh, like Mineo and, and, and such. Thanks for watching. Until next time.